Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Welcome back to the Better, Brighter You segment brought to you by Suspera, the leader in science-backed pigment correction. Today, we're diving into a topic affecting millions worldwide, hyperpigmentation, one of the most stubborn and emotionally taxing skin concerns. Studies show that nearly 40% of women of all skin tones struggle with some form of pigment disorder. And as we know, pigmentation is multifactorial, hormonal, inflammatory, environmental, which is why solutions must be both science-based and strategic. And no one understands that better than today's guest. Dr. David Goldberg is a board-certified dermatologist, international lecturer, researcher, and a true pioneer in energy-based aesthetics. Since 1985, he has treated patients across the world while training thousands of physicians in cutting-edge laser and cosmetic technologies. In 2020, he merged with Schweiger Dermatology Group, now the fourth largest dermatology group in the United States, where he serves as the Director of Cosmetic Dermatology and Clinical Research. And if that weren't impressive enough, he's also an attorney, a Fordham Law graduate right here from the heart of New York City, bringing a rare legal lens to the future of aesthetic medicine. Welcome to the show, superstar. It's great to be here. So before we get into the treatment landscape, I want to start with the science because people often underestimate how complex pigmentation really is. And we know from published dermatology research that melasma is driven by hormones and UV exposure and inflammation and vascular changes and even genetics, which is why recurrence rates can be as high as 50 to 80 percent. Not without proper management, right? So the complexity directly impacts patients' expectations and timelines. So, but from your vantage point, which is a very, very unique and astute one as a researcher and clinician, what does the latest science tell us about why hyperpigmentations and conditions like melasma are so complex? And how should patients think about realistic timelines for improvement? So hyperpigmentation is basically an umbrella that covers all sources of excess pigment in the skin. It could be age spots. It could be falling off a bike and scraping your knee and the pigment is there. But as you alluded to, melasma is the most complicated version of it. And it does affect so many people and mostly women. And so it's complicated because, one, it is hormonally based. And and it's hard to really change that. Uh, You see it in women on birth control pills. You see it on women who get who are around menopause, it's always worsened by sun exposure. There's a genetic tendency. So a lot of different factors. And if you don't treat it correctly and conservatively, and you don't treat it over the long term, you can potentially make things worse. And our goal is always to make things better and not worse. Now, one of the biggest shifts we've seen recently is the move toward hydroquinone free pigment solutions uh, driven by both safety considerations and the need for long-term maintenance, right? Something sustainable. And Suspera has emerged as one of those standout products with cystiamine as its star ingredient, which really offers results without the limitation of those traditional bleaching agents. And of course, you know this better than anyone else, but the recent clinical studies show meaningful improvement in stubborn pigmentation with consistent use overall and over several weeks, of course. And it's another one of those companies that we say clinically researched, clinically verified. So where does Suspera fit within a comprehensive pigmentation protocol, whether as a standalone formulation or as a complement to in-office procedure. Break it down for me. You know, as you alluded to, you know, hydroquinones, uh, our bleaching agents, they've been around for almost 40 years already, but they have their own issues. Uh, there are some concerns about them. They, they tend not to want to be used in Europe. Uh, often they're combined with topical cortisones. Those can thin the skin. They're combined with topical retin-A-like products, which can irritate the skin. And the last thing you want to do with melasma is irritate the skin. So on comes cystiamine. That's what Cispera is all about. And in fact, it's not only just cystiamine that's in Cispera, it's also isobionic amide. They are both agents that can lessen pigmentation without using hydroquinones, without using Retin-A, without using steroids. And sometimes we combine with laser technology, and we can talk about that a little bit, and sometimes we use them alone. But in both situations, uh, Cispera uh, with those two products uh, is safe in patients with melasma. It can help to lessen pigment. Well, beautifully said, like 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 an astute professor would deliver. And I love that you emphasize synergy rather than replacement because it re- really reinforces that true lasting results come from a balanced approach, right? Because those two ingredients are key right there. Now, the treatments like chemical peels and lasers and energy devices can deliver without a doubt tremendous results, but they're 
also only as safe as the provider holding the device, right? Yep. And, it, and in today's landscape where aesthetics is booming and technology is widely available, provider experience is everything. And a recent JAMA report even cited a rise in complications linked to non-physician supervised treatments. So prevention starts way before the laser is turned on. Now, with today's aesthetic technologies, Dr. Goldberg, being more advanced and accessible than ever, when should patients look for when, for when selecting an experienced physician? So what should be the when time of the year? Like, I think, the, you know, devices are considered, you know, better used, not in the summer, if you will, but time of year. And what should patients be looking for when selecting an experienced physician? And more importantly, is there a practical checklist that they should ask before committing to like an in-office pigmentation procedure? Yeah, well, the first point is, I mean, as you alluded to it, you know, this issue about the time of year. So any device where you're concerned about using it a certain time of year is not the device to be used for melasma. Uh, and so typically deeper peels, the lasers often used for wrinkles, carbon dioxide lasers, erbium lasers. These are just terrible for melasma. They can make melasma look better maybe for a month or two. And then there's a rebound effect and they're worse. So the way we mm -hmm. approach melasma from a laser perspective is to use a laser that lessens pigment but doesn't create any wound. You cannot have inflammation. You cannot have a wound or you make things worse. So we tend to use lasers. They're known as YAG lasers, which don't produce any wound at all. Uh, and then we often combine that with what's known as a red level, red low level light source or an LED source, which suppresses inflammation. The goal of melasma is to lessen the pigment and stop inflammation. And when you do those together and you combine them with Suspera, oh my God, the results are terrific. And frankly, it can be done any time of year. The problem you run into, as you alluded to, is when it's not physician supervised, you know, and, and that doesn't mean there aren't PAs and, and MPs that aren't great at this. There are many that are. I run a meeting that trains them. But when you have a situation where these people are not supervised and often they're using what are known as IPLs, intense pulse lights, they're the cheapest light-based device. Many spas have them. Those devices notoriously burn patients with melasma. They create more hyperpigmentation. And the legal side of me is I see those complications all the time. So a YAG laser plus low-level light combined with Suspera, you're not going to run into problems and you're going to make melasma better. Boom. There you go. That's that's an empowering checklist, empowering guidance right there. And, and when you break it down like that, it can truly save patients from irreversible complications. No doubt. A lot of yeah. happiness is prevented. There you go. And of course, even with the best precautions, complications can occasionally occur, right? So post-inflammatory uh, hyperpigmentation, like you said earlier, PIH is particularly common in darker skin tones where melanocytes are more reactive to heat or trauma. So what matters most is how quickly and responsibly it's managed, right? But when complications like PIH do arise, what are the most effective and responsible next steps a physician should take to manage and treat those issues? So you allude to PIH, that's post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And of course, ideally that shouldn't occur, but you're right, it can occur no matter who does something. That's where Suspera is terrific. If you're concerned about that kind of problem, that PIH, that hyperpigmentation, um, oh my gosh, you know, put someone on Suspera immediately uh, and it'll lessen that from happening. The other part is, with melasma also is, you know, in addition to Suspera, is melasma is always worsened by sun exposure. Uh, and so you can do all you want and, and make people better with Suspera and with any lasers. And then if they sit out and, you know, they're in Florida, they're on the West Coast, on the beaches in California, uh, they're on the Jersey Shore. If they sit out there in the summer and they don't wear their sunscreens, boom, it's all coming right back. And so uh. sunscreens and Suspera are the long-term maintenance. Lasers are the way to get them better quicker. There you go. It's, it's, of course, again, incredibly reassuring. And patients need to know that complications are not a dead end. And with the right physician, they're, manage they're, they're a manageable part of the journey, without a doubt. Now, melasma behaves more like a chronic condition. We said this earlier than a temporary one and triggers, like we've been talking about, like heat, light, stress and hormones can reactivate pigment at any time. And dermatology literature even shows that melasma recurrence is virtually guaranteed without ongoing maintenance. So the real win is long-term stability, not chasing perfection. How do you recommend patients balance in-office treatment with consistent at-home care? And what does the ideal long-term maintenance plan look like to keep pigment under control without over-treating the skin? 
So when we treat people with melasma, typically our, our course is uh, five treatments once a month with this uh, YAG laser and low-level light source once a month. Treatments, uh, they're nearly painless. These lasers do not hurt at all. Uh, treatments take uh, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes once a month for five months. They start on Suspera immediately. After the five-month treatments, they're better. They stay on the Suspera, and generally they come in about once every six months for a single treatment just a single treatment, but they stay on the Suspera as long as they have issues, which they can. It's not a hydroquinone. It's not a steroid. And they have to use sunscreens. If they do all that, sometimes I get to see them once a year. I had a patient just yesterday who I've been seeing for 20 years already. She comes in once a year and we looked at her pictures from 20 years ago. She looked terrible and she looks great now. She's doing the right thing. She uses Suspera. She uses sunscreens. I see her once a year. Perfectly said, realistic, sustainable, and patient-centered. It's exactly what people need to hear. So thank you for that. Now, before we wrap up, I want to tap into something uniquely you. <laughs> you're not only a medical pioneer, you're, you also, <laughs> <laughs> you're also an attorney. And right now, we're watching a massive boom in med spas, franchise aesthetics, and non-physician providers entering the field. Patients are confused, Dr. Goldberg, and, and practitioners are overwhelmed, and the legal landscape is evolving faster than regulations can keep up. So how is the legal landscape evolving for aesthetic medicine, and how do you advise both your peers and patients to navigate this rapidly changing field safely? So, and you're right, um, with the proliferation of all kinds of aesthetic centers, it's not just med spas, some of the med spas are great, but all kinds of aesthetic centers, you know, the, the laws as to who can run these things, who can treat these things varies from state to state, and you have national coverage. Uh, there is no question that the two most common lawsuits we're seeing are either this IPL treatment, intense pulse light treatment of melasma, or when it's used for hair removal, same issue on darker skinned people. It just has a tendency to burn them. The lawsuits are going through the roof. And partly because the, the people in these places are not trained correctly, partly because the centers don't have the right devices, and partly because the public doesn't realize that just because it is a light source that it's safe to treat melasma. Uh, and so, you know, there's no end in sight with this. The, the, these, these places grow and, you know, until, until the next recession, and then they fall apart, then they come back, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's room for everybody in this arena, but patients need to ask the right questions. Yeah, that's it's fascinating what, you know, and deeply needed because that dual expertise that you have brings so much clarity to an area filled with noise and misinformation. So I love that, you know, you have it you have it all centered on a clinical and a research side, but the legal side, it, you're at the forefront of, of every curve and well, every. As you alluded to, I mean, Schweiger Dermatology actually is, is now bigger than, than you even mentioned. Uh, the last time we spoke, there were about 70 offices and now about 170 coast to coast now. Um, and part of my training the providers is, is not just to train them in what to use, but how to do it safely. And if you do things the right way and you do it safely, um, you know, there's never going to be zero risk in anything in life. We cross the street, but you make that risk as low as you can. Well, there you go. Dr. Goldberg, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us today. And, and I truly, you're my expert on the microphone. You're my go-to. I text you every time I need you. Happy holidays. And for everyone listening, you can learn more about his work and schedule a consultation by visiting schwagerderm.com. And you can follow him directly on the gram at Dr. David Goldberg. And of course, today's Better, Brighter You segment is brought to you by Suspera, the science-backed system trusted worldwide for pigment correction. To explore their full formulation and educational resources, you can go directly on their website at Suspera.com. That's C Y S P E R A. And you can follow them on the gram at Suspera. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 W O R, the voice of New York, iHeartRadio, and beyond. We'll be right back after this. A moment of Zen is brought to you by Suspera. If skin discoloration is making it hard to find your Zen, Suspera can help. Stubborn pigmentation, dark spots, and uneven skin tone concerns go beyond the surface, affecting both confidence and self-expression. In a sea of skincare choices, Suspera stands apart. Backed by science and trusted by dermatologists worldwide, Suspera is powered by the advanced Cystamine Isobonic Amide Complex, delivering clinically proven results and effectively targeting mild to persistent discoloration while restoring the skin's natural glow. Unlike harsh treatments, Suspera is formulated for all skin types, including sensitive areas, ensuring visible improvements without irritation. Whether pigmentation is a new concern or a long-standing struggle, Suspera works in harmony with the skin to bring balance, clarity, and renewed confidence. Suspera is science-driven skin care for confidence that shines. Find your skin zen and restore your glow with Suspera today by heading to Suspera.com. 